libraries are making every effort to ensure that patrons are able to access materials during this current situation of remote learning. Let's see how in Alma we can search for and order a collection of e-resource materials that can help our students in this effort. To start our workflow, let's search for a collection that our library wishes to acquire. Alma allows searching for many different types of material. In our case, it's an electronic collection. We'll search by the electronic collection name, though if we wish, we can choose to search by other available indexes. Let's enter the name. And we also have an option of choosing the search scope, either the library's catalog or the Alma Community Zone, which is a shared repository for all Alma users. The Community Zone includes authority records, bibliographic metadata, and most importantly for our workflow, an electronic materials knowledge base. We'll see how we can utilize this knowledge base in order to easily find and order e-resource material. But before searching the Community Zone, let's check our own library's catalog to make sure that we don't already have this collection. There are zero results in our library's catalog. We can simply switch to the Community Zone to see the results of our search query there. Here's our collection. Note that there are 55 items in this collection, and you can see them all under the Portfolio list. To order the collection, simply click Actions, Order. Alma will now start an order workflow for you and your library. For the order type, we have the recommended option of Electronic Collection Subscription. For the PO line owner, choose the library to which this order belongs. A great time-saving option in Alma allows using an order template, which will pre-populate many of the fields in our order. In this example, we'll choose the template National Booksellers Electronic. Your library will configure its own templates. To continue, click Create PO Line. And now let's review our order details. Because we're using a template, many fields are already populated. For example, a link to the vendor's license, the vendor information, and even the fund that will pay for this order. What's left in this example is to fill in the list price of the collection. And also, let's fill in the renewal date and the renewal reminder period of 10 days. Once we've reviewed our order and we're satisfied all is correct, click Order Now. Confirm. And note the acknowledgement by Alma that the order has been submitted. In our next video, we'll go through the steps of activating the portfolios in this collection. Thanks for joining.